What's up, everyone? It's your friend Tanner Babcock here, coming at you with another brand new video. Today, I'm going to be talking about all of the different Wayland compositors I've been trying out recently. But before we get to that, I'm going to show off my GitHub sponsors profile. If there is anyone out there at all who would like to sponsor my work, give me some money, I would really be able to make some great things and afford some great things. <laughs> I would really appreciate it because I need money. <laughs> anyway, here's my GitHub profile. I don't really use GitHub primarily anymore. I use GitLab now instead, but uh, I still check my GitHub every day and I still make pull requests on GitHub and stuff, so... But yeah, the first window manager we are going to be looking at today is Sway. Here is my Sway Rice. This bar is called Way Bar. As you can see, you can click on these modules and uh, They'll tell you all kinds of different stuff. This module, I can scroll up and down to change the brightness. So that's really cool. This, uh, this way bar configuration is uh, basically the same as my way bar for river, just with different colors. Let's look at the GitHub page for Sway. Sway WM slash Sway. Sway is i3 compatible, which means it works with the i3 config syntax. It's a little bit different, as you can see. I have to put in these... Uh, these inputs here for my touchpad and my mouse. I have to define some things there to make uh, using the mouse easy <laughs> and not difficult. But this part of the source code, yeah, that's right from i3. That's from the i3 config. Right now, uh, the layout is tiling, and it's just putting them side by side like this. But if I wanted to do super key and S, it now stacks these windows like this. As you can see, there are these nice little bars window decorations up here that are kind of nice. I can switch between the windows with a J and K here. I can switch between my monitors, my laptop screen, and the monitor I'm looking at right now with a H and L. So that's pretty cool. I finally figured out this Sway rice and I made a totally different rice for my Sway setup. So it should make for a more interesting video. Now that you're not going to have to look at the same wallpaper for every uh, compositor I look at. Here's all the key bindings. I think they say Sway is uh, i3 compatible because it has all of the same key bindings from i3 and uh, you know, you can toggle this view, this stacked view. I think there's a tabbed. Yes, mod W. This is the tabbed view. So I can click on the different tabs. I can also, uh, I can also scroll between the tabs. Change them. Super J and K are not working, but H and L. Super H and Super L switch between the tabs. If I wanted to make another uh, another floating window, I would just do Super 
what is it? Super T? Yep. Super T. Here's go top. Now we have this uh, floating window that I'm resizing with my mouse. I'm holding down the super key and I'm resizing this window with the right mouse button. Let's get out of that. Go back to these nice tabs here. There's also a uh, scratch pad feature. So if I wanted to put this window in the scratch pad, it'd be a super minus, super shift minus. Yep. <clears throat> and it looks like that just closes the window, but it doesn't. It moves it to the scratch pad. And if I want to recall this window, get that window back, I would do a super key minus. It will bring this window right back from the scratch pad. I can toggle the scratch pad with super key and minus. So, you know, if I wanted to look at some file, like if I wanted to look at my river config and compare it with my sway config, you know, I could just have this window right here. I could do a super minus and hide the scratch pad. I could scroll throughout the config, do a super minus again, the scratch pad comes back. That's pretty cool. It's a pretty, pretty handy feature. Super shift J and K are doing this, moving the window up and down like this. And just like J and K, it's a H and L, moving it back and forth. Those are the Vim key bindings. Pretty sure i3 uses those same key bindings, uh, H, J, K, and L. It might use the semi-colon. I don't know why I think that, but Vim key bindings always nice. I love them. I love running all kinds of programs that use the Vim key bindings and have Vim commands. Here's all of my key bindings. If I wanted to open up Pulse Audio Volume Control, it's just super slash. My music player is super comma. Emacs is super shift comma. Here's Emacs. And uh, Sublime Text is the semicolon. Here's that kitty config. That tells you how often I use Sublime Text. <laughs> super shift C. I try to use the, the key binding super shift C to close windows in every window manager or Wayland compositor I use. Uh, it's really nice. The way bar has these really nice animations. If you are wondering how I did this in the way bar, I can show you. This is the way bar config I'm using right now with Sway. There are two bars for my uh, laptop screen and the monitor screen. And you style way bar, the way bar config, which is just JSON, you style that with CSS. So here's the CSS for my way bar down there. And you can use linear gradients, you can use RGBA for alpha channel. Um, I just figured out these italics. Uh, these workspaces, if you hover over them, they have this nice uh, smooth animation that's really cool. 
with Sway and the multiple monitors I have, I find that Sway makes both monitors use the same set of tags. Like uh, what I patched DWM to do in my DWM video. <clears throat> so yep, there's Sway. Uh, a lot of people use Sway. I think it's the most popular Wayland compositor. 11,000 stars on GitHub. What about River? Take a look at River's GitHub. Compared to 1.8 thousand stars for River. So yes, yeah, Sway might be the face of tiling Wayland compositors. I mean, i3 is really popular. That's probably the most popular and uh, the most user-friendly, beginner-friendly tiling window manager for uh, Xorg sessions. But for Wayland, it looks like Sway is the most popular option. Uh, I don't hate it. Sway is what I first used when I first got into Wayland because it was the easiest to configure. It took me forever to figure out how to use River, and I'm still figuring it out. And I just started using Wayfire. We're going to look at Wayfire in a little bit, but uh, for now, this is my Sway part of the video. I'm going to log out and start up a river session. So, I'll be right back here. And here I am again. I have logged into a river session. Here is my river configuration file. River is like BSPWM in that it is configured with a shell script and it uses this other command called river CTL, river control. Here are my key bindings. It took me forever to get up and running with river. I don't know why. I think I might have misunderstood how the config file works. I think I tried to do something. I don't know. But it took me a long time to get to the point where, like, I'm, I'm using it right now. You know, like, here's my menu. This menu is called Fuzzle. I have it uh, configured to work like D menu is a tool I really like. That menu is really nice. This uh, terminal that I've been using is called foot. Foot is a terminal that you start in server mode and when you want to spawn a new terminal you call the command foot client to create a new instance of foot. So that's really cool. <clears throat> I still don't have these river key bindings uh, completely memorized, but as you can see, they are similar to the sway key bindings, like super J, super K, change the focus of the windows, uh, if you want to resize the, the split down the middle, that's a super H and super L. And just like in DWM, because this is inspired by DWM also, it is called the master area. I believe the one on the left is the master area. But yeah, I'm doing super H and super L right now. If I, if I tried to resize these windows the way you resize windows in other 
tiling window managers like a i3 Sway BSP WM with the right click it just does this it just turns it into a floating window DWM does that too Here's all the processes I have running now. I'm using this command, sway bg, from sway to set the wallpapers, because I have a different wallpaper for each monitor. This uh, nice weeds in the sunset picture is just the right side of my screen. Here's the daemons I start whenever I start River. Something that's cool about River is this. Like DWM, you can select multiple tags at once by right-clicking on these tags. So that's really cool. DWM does that. <clears throat> Sway and I3 cannot do that. River, much like the vanilla DWM, uses a separate set of tags, because they're called tags and not workspaces, a separate set of tags for each monitor. So, my laptop has its own six tags, and the, the monitor has its own six tags. You can only see four tags down there, but there's, there's six. <laughs> I just didn't want to... I really only need four for this monitor, so the other two are just invisible. <laughs> I think I have a... Yeah, this code right here implements a scratch pad like Sway has. <clears throat> so how do you do scratch pad? Super M, Super Shift M. Let's do that with my face. Super M, Super Shift M. Oh, yep. My face is gone. Where did I go? Up oh, there I am. See, where I am is I'm on a tag number seven. You can't see tag number seven down here, but that's the, that's where the scratch pad window goes. And Super M will bring the scratch pad back. Now both of these windows in the scratch pad. So I can press, you know, super five, six, seven, and my Emacs window and my MPV window are in the seventh tag. To get them out of the seventh tag or scratch tag, just uh, move them. Move them with super shift two. And that's how you can use a scratch pad on River. River is probably my first choice for when I just want to use my laptop for whatever, I'm probably going to start up River. I like it more than Sway, I like it more than Wayfire, even though I really like Wayfire. Uh, it's a little hard to configure, but I remember BSPWM was really hard to configure. But uh, that's probably my favorite window manager for Xorg. Something, something you potential river users out there should notice is the very last line of this script. This file is .config slash river slash init. The last line of this script should always be this river tile command. <clears throat> You set the padding, the gaps, 
you know, around the windows. You set those gaps right here, and you set the ratio. The main ratio is like when you have two windows like this, they're equally split. See, I'm changing the main ratio now with super H and super L. So that's what main ratio is. And uh, main location specifies where new windows should spawn relative to the current window. So yeah, we can resize these with super H and super L, or we can just make this a floating window by uh, holding super and doing a right click. That's cool, we can do lots of stuff. Showed my menu already. I use that same menu on Sway. Yeah, river's really nice. And, you know, I'm still configuring all of this stuff. I'm still learning, you know, how this stuff works. I don't know everything there is to know about Sway and River and Wayfire, especially not Wayfire. <laughs> But uh, I'm learning, and I think other people should learn too. Uh, River and Sway, you know, have a lot of the same key bindings. H, J, K, L, those Vim key bindings. <clears throat> anyway, give it a try. Just give Wayland a try. It's really awesome. It's a lot of fun. You know, not everything works, but a lot of stuff does work, like perfectly. <laughs> You know, like Firefox. This is Firefox dash Wayland I'm looking at right here. Like if I wanted to open something else, like, you know, Audacity. Audacity works fine in Wayland. Uh, it puts these uh, window decorations on it like it did with Firefox Wayland. This little X button in the corner. So I think that's kind of nice. Yeah, Audacity works fine. Uh, GIMP is kind of weird. The GNU image manipulation program. That program can be kind of weird in River. Uh, the mouse just just doesn't work in a lot of the little windows that pop up in GIMP. But uh, GIMP works fine in Sway. I mean, totally fine. Set the keyboard repeat rate. That's what I was looking for. Here you can set the border color of focused and unfocused windows. And uh, these colors can have alpha channel. Yeah, River's great. Install River, install Sway, get up and running with Wayland. It's a lot of fun. Now I'm going to log out of River and we're going to take a look at Wayfire. And I'm back. I have logged out of River and logged into a little compositor called Wayfire. And it is straight fire. You can already see. I mean, look. Look, I'll get rid of these windows. Look, I'll drag this window around. Like, what the fuck? Isn't that crazy? Oh wait, I'm frozen. <laughs> My image is uh, frozen while I'm being dragged, but <laughs> you can drag any window like this. You can drag this window. Has this really nice wobbly effect. I think that's the plugin. Wayfire has these plugins. There's another plugin that does uh, this. If you take a window, a floating window, and drag it, and uh, 
Kind of like Windows 7, you drag your mouse over to the border, the edge of the screen, you'll see this, and you let go, and it fills up that half of the screen. Here's another window, we can do that with this window. <clears throat> There's the other half of the screen. So, I would not call Wayfire, uh, you know, a pure, pure tiling window manager. I would consider it, you know, a floating, excuse me, compositor. A floating Wayland compositor with uh, tiling capabilities here. Yeah, you can do some crazy, crazy things. I am going to bring up Wayfire config right here, right, right. Oh, jeez. Zoom in there. Here's the config file for Wayfire. Here are all of the plugins I'm using. I am using the Blur plugin, even though it warns it's a, a little resource intensive. I think it looks awesome, though. I'm having trouble figuring out these window decorations, although I do like the window decorations. I mean, <laughs> I haven't voluntarily used an environment in Linux where the windows had decorations, I mean in forever. <laughs> when I use i3 and Sway, that's like the that's like the first thing I do is no window decorations. <laughs> but uh here you can see some of the cool effects Wayfire has to offer cuz there are just a shitload of these crazy awesome video effects like that. I don't even know how I did that, dude. That just ha- whoa. <laughs> I literally just did- I don't know what I did to do that. But, uh, here. Open this up. With super alt, super alt and scrolling, you can change the opacity of windows. So that is pretty crazy. I mean, that's just really impressive. You know, my first Wayland compositor was Sway, which is based on i3, a really simple tiling window manager. And then the next Wayland compositor I used was River, which is based on BSPWM and DWM. You know, those compositors can't do this stuff. Here, look at the, the fisheye effect. Super control F. Oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, that's fucking crazy. That's just fucking crazy, man. Look. <clears throat> whoa. 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 <laughs> You can see you can have all kinds of fun with this. And you can I mean you can just use your browser or whatever <laughs> while you're you know with the fisheye lens. I mean that's crazy. Super control F is the key binding <clears throat> that toggles the fisheye effect. So yeah, there's that opacity thing, there's the the fisheye thing. I think you can zoom. You can also zoom in Wayfire by holding the super key and scrolling with the mouse wheel. That's how I did this. So I'm zoomed in, it follows my mouse, as you can see. Here's me, I'm a little bigger now. I'm moving my mouse over to this side of the screen. Now I'm moving it up to this corner. Now I'm moving it up to this corner. Now I'm gonna zoom out. <clears throat> yeah, so that's really cool. 
These are buttons on the windows. <clears throat> this first one is minimize. Just like, you know, just like Windows and Mac OS, minimize, maximize, close. So we click this green one for maximize or click it again to restore the window or we could click this blue one to minimize the window. Now, I'm the only window that's up. <laughs> yeah, I'm still learning about Wayfire. They have this nice uh, wiki on their GitHub page that's really helpful. I don't think I don't think they have a man page. I tried running man Wayfire and you know nothing. This panel up here, which really doesn't have much, it just has this date, which is in a color that's hard to read. <laughs> it has this uh, list of all the currently open windows. And uh, this button, which is like an application launcher. You know, you can scroll through these applications like a cool retro term. Let's open that. This would look really cool. I mean, goddamn. <laughs> oh, but it pauses. I wonder if I can change that. There's this little pause in the glow of the, the retro term, but it wobbles. I mean, that's crazy. This terminal is really cool. I, I really fucked up by not covering this cool retro term in my uh, terminals video, but that's really nice. Yeah, it's just a blast using Wayfire. <laughs> I uh, I went to the other room. I was using Wayfire. I I just left it on. You know, went to the other room to do something else, and I came back and there's a a screensaver. It has a little a cube screensaver, so all of your workspaces will turn and move around like a cube. I mean, it's crazy. I don't, I don't think I can show that. If I can, I don't know how. I'm still learning all of this stuff, but <laughs> yeah, Wayfire is just awesome. It is straight, straight fire. And I'm going to take this moment at the end of this video to show off my website. Yes, this is TannerBabcock.com, or you can go to TannerBabcock.com slash home. This is my website. It has my artwork. It has all of my music. It has a lot of film and music reviews. I also have some Linux stuff on here. These are tutorials, tutorials for beginners, Linux beginners. Here's a Git tutorial that I wrote. Here are some basic shell commands. Another tutorial I wrote. If you click on Linux, this link will appear, my videos link. That's right, I now have my videos on my website right there and I'm going to post this video on my website when I'm done rendering it. Here's the last video I did. There's the thumbnail. Hello. <laughs> yeah, you can watch my videos. You can uh, listen to my music. Just click on an album and you know, start playing it. You can look at my artwork. Crazy artwork. Yeah, please check out my website. TannerBabcock.com I would just love it. <clears throat> anyway, thank you for joining me today in my Wayland Compositors video. Uh, it's been a lot of fun trying out all of these compositors. It's been especially fun uh, messing around with 
wave fire. I mean, look at this stuff. Look at these wobbles. <laughs> these wobbles, these snaps, border snaps. There's a, a grid function. If you do super key and then the number pad, super key seven, super key four, super one, super three, super four, or super six, super nine, super eight, super five. No, that's really cool. So yeah, I mean, check it out. Check out Sway, check out River, check out Wayfire. Using Wayland is just a blast. I highly recommend all of this software. Anyway, thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys later. Be sure, if you enjoyed this video, to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out, and please check out my website. Thanks.